What's going on YouTube? It's Kevin. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day. Please make sure you start this video off by clicking the thumbs up button, which is the like button right beneath your uh, my video on your phone or on your computer. Or if you're on your gaming device, you can also click that like button. If you're watching the Scorpion Show for the first time, please make sure that you click that subscribe button. And if you've been coming back to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm here to talk to you guys about last night's new episode of Pose, or last night's episode of Pose. Season 2, episode 2 is titled, Worth It. And I must say, I really enjoyed this episode. And we're trying, you know, we're kind of seeing where the chips are going to fall. But this overall, I just loved everything about this episode. And you see how... You can see the direction of each of the characters and where they're going, or hope you can see where they're going. The Ricky and Damon storyline, it's like, did Ricky really cheat, or did he not cheat, or is he innocent at all? Blanca is becoming this businesswoman, and now she's going to fight the, uh, the landlord of the building. We see that Electra builds a new house. And the House of Ferocity is, I think they're going to fall apart soon. Because I think it's going to be something going on with Lulu and Candy. It's just, it was just a really great episode. And I'm here to talk to you guys about it. So, you know, I'm trying to think of how I want to do these pose reviews. Like, do you need me to give you the play-by-play? -play, or do you want, like, my thoughts of, you know, what happened on the episode and that can take you a little bit around the world so I'm trying to understand how I'm going to do this see I'm not, I, y'all know I haven't really done reviews in a while so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this but I guess we could start with the play by play of you know Lulu winning the ball I mean she looked absolutely stunning she won her trophy pray tell gives a shout out to Ele uh, Electra and Candy wasn't really feeling that too much so you know they had a little uh, beef back and forth and you know, they, she's like, well, she's going to work. They're like, bitch, Indochina's clothes, where you're going? She read them, she leaves, and she goes on to her second job. Electra is a dominatrix. So she's, you know, abusing men, and they seem to love it. And she seems to love the money that she's making from it. So, you know, she's like, I can, you know, be on the names of the people at Indochina. They get to know who I am, and then I go ahead and make my money. That's double the money for you, Electra. And I say, bitch, go ahead and make that money. Go ahead and make it. And, you know, they were saying, like, you know, they always got to slide some truth in there when they were talking about how a lot of the men who, you know, hire the workers, they would rather take pain than take the pleasure because they are afraid of, you know, um, being infected with the disease, so they were ready to be spanked and beat and jerked off and uh, all kinds of. Well, they said hand job, you know, all of that stuff. So, but I'm just, I'm just happy that um, Electra is still working at her job and that she's still making money and she don't have to. I mean, there's other ways you can make money, but hey, being a dominatrix, I don't really see that as a bad thing. So, you know, they go to commercial. We come back and we see Angel. And Blanca having their little moment together. And Angel basically like, bitch, you need to get your shit together. You got to get your makeup right. You got to throw these rags away. We're going to fix you up. And you're going to look real nice for this landlord so you can get this building. So while that's going on, um, let me say here. So while all that's going on, Angel, you know, they go to this, uh, I believe they went to the, uh, they go, so Angel, uh, Angel. I have it in my nose, Angel meets the owner. Blanca meets the owner. The owner is just real shady. You know, she likes everything in cash. And she's like, bitch, I want first month's last. Angel has the money. Ain't Blanca has the money. And then, you know, she's reading like, bitch, how'd you get this money? And she's like, I saved up for this. And all this and that. And meanwhile, Ricky is coming home. Ricky comes home. He sees Damon and everything. And they about to have a little... Thing, but they have, they have curtains everywhere because I mean there's no privacy with Cubby and Lamar and Angel and Poppy and Blanca, all of them in the house. They ain't got no problem to do what they want to do. <laughs> so you know they're getting caught up, about to do their thing. Uh, Blanca comes in the door like, oh I'm so sorry. 
She like, y'all get, she ain't even say hi to Ricky, like, hey, bitch, how you been? She like, I love you all that. But y'all need to get up. We got a mandatory meeting. Everything is always a mandatory meeting. We're having a mandatory meeting. Derek just died. All this and that. So they go to the, um, I think they had already had one to the funeral. I probably got the notes mixed up. But they go to the funeral. Angel goes to, Aunt Blanca goes to the funeral. She meets with Pray Tell and Nurse Judy like, bitch, you um, really need to take this AZT because I know you're not taking it. And she's like, I'm, I'm not going to take this because I know what it's going to do to my body. All this and that. So they go on back and forth about it. And then, um, you know, so all that happens. Kevin get these goddamn notes together. So... The boys did not go to the wake. It's not a funeral. It's more of a wake. So the boys didn't go to the wake. They come home. They went out. They had they, they had just got in from drinking and everything. Blanca reads them and then tells them, get some other advice. Drink some motherfucking water. And boy, do I know that feeling <laughs> of needing water after you've been drinking. So they, um, you know, so they, they, they end that scene there. So then the scene really gets crazy when um, Lulu and Candy, they're at their house and they're, it's, you know, they really don't have no money for the food and everything, but they call themselves, you know, living off the slum fast so they can be, their bodies could be right for the upcoming ball, which I think their bodies are already fine. And it's weird when you see people like, oh my God, I need to lose like five pounds. And I'm like, bitch, do you know what I would do to get to your size? If, I mean, if everything is right. You know what I'm saying? So, Blanca, not Blanca, now I'm calling, uh, in my head, I'm calling Electra Blanca. Electra's like, bitch, what is this? They're like, no, this is our house, our rules. Electra's like, oh, I'm going to need some closet space. I need this and I need that. And Candy had to, you know, had to gather her up right quick, which I love. You know, because Candy, I like Candy because she likes to get Electra together. But Candy is not really together when it comes to the ballroom and, the, and these categories. Because she just likes to walk anything. And, you know, Lulu is really like doing the damn thing. And you can see that Lulu and Candy got their little thing where they go back and forth, as we've seen in this scene. But I also feel like they are not going to be together too long. They might live together, but they might end up having a big fight. And we're going to end up seeing them. one of them start their own house. One of them is going to keep the house of ferocity and one is going to leave. And I think that Candy may be the one to leave. And I also, I'm going to ask for this again. We need Lulu and Candy's backstory. We don't know their backstory. And we really need to know more about them. If we're going to keep highlighting them, we need to know. You know, so, so yeah. So they drink in a slim fast and everything. They tell her, Electra, no, bitch, you are a guest. Electra flips out on them. I don't know why I keep running back to y'all. I don't know why I do this and why I do that. And after I got my sex change, you know, I became a little bit soft because this person left me, that person left me, nobody came to see me, all this and that. She pulls the motherfucking skirt off the table. It's not a skirt, it's a tablecloth. She pulls the tablecloth off the table, ruining everyone's slim fast dinner. And, and uh, Candy said, well, what the hell is this? And she says, it's my signature move, and I'll be sending for my things. So she leaves, and when we see Electra leaves, she goes around recruiting people for her new house. You know, at first I thought she was trying to find a new apartment right away. And I don't know where she's been laying her head. We don't know where she's been laying her head. But she goes off and she recruits new members to join her house, which I was... Uh, I was happy to see. Now, what happened to my notes? I've been touching so much. Okay. So, you know, they go, they have this ball. They have the ball, and they're doing like Romeo and Juliet and everything. It was all cute and everything. So, we've seen everybody do their thing, and then the lights go out. In comes Electra with her new girls that's going to be in, on her, um, in her house. And she asks, you know, can I introduce, can we introduce who we are? And then the judge is like, fuck no. And it was like, no, bitch. And she let them know anyway. When tour is coming, you know. So I was excited. She let everybody know this, you know, named at the end of Wintour, who was the editor of Vogue and all this and that. But I 
really love this scene. It's from Electra walking and the girls walking, coming out from the side. It was just so choreographed. It was so decent. It was just like, fuck anything else that's going on. The lights went out, kind of like when The Undertaker comes out on wrestling. And then she has this dramatic entrance. But, you know, I, 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 just, I just love it. And she's recruiting the best. And I know that, they, as we've seen, they're going to be winning a lot of trophies on this season of Pose. I'm just excited for the other houses. I mean, I'm excited for the other houses to see what they come up with. When is Blanca going to recruit some new people? Because all she recruited was the people that went from her old house, which was the house of um, abundance, and then she, uh, and then that was it. But where the other people were? The only person she I seen here recruit off the street was uh, No Poppy. Where is the other people? So while all that's going on, we find out about the new house and everything. The lady that rented. Blanca, this uh, space, we found she's getting an interview, she names her dog Cash and Credit, all this and that, and you know, she wanted to find out what the piece was for, and she's like, it's about powerful women at the divorce, but it was so much going on in that interview, I know that that reporter is going to put everything in that fucking story, I believe she's going to drag that woman, and then she finds out what's going on with Blanca, or if Blanca finds this reporter, Oh, the story is going to go viral. I mean, you know, and it's going to be in that story. Oh, it's going to be good. I'm hoping that that happens because, you know, the son spooked that Electra was born male. And he's like, you know, at that time he said she was, she's a man, all this and that. The mother was upset. He's like, no, bitch, take your money and you leave. You ain't, you ain't even got to come back. Pray tell basically builds Electra up like, no, you're going to fight this and everything. So, like, not like not Electra, Blanca. You're going to fight this. You're not going to go down easy. And Blanca is almost finished. She's like, she's opening this up in two days. The lady comes in threatening her with Russians and, and Italians and all this and that. And she said, you know what, for the first time I'm like, we're going to fight all the way to the end. And we know that Blanca is definitely a fighter. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that she's sending up to this lady. And I'm really excited for her about her nails and everything, her nail business. And she said, I'm going to fight you, bitch. So the lady leaves. You know, they, they did all that. Y'all watched that episode. I got to say all the shit that's been said back and forth. But I'm happy for Blanca. I'm happy for you. Meanwhile, Ricky and Damon, you know, they were at that ball. And they were fighting at the ball because the guy was like, yeah, you know, me and Ricky was on tour together. We were uh, fucking all this and that. But he was trying to holler at Damon. Damon wasn't feeling it. Laid him out. Pray to had shut the ball down. I skipped over that part by accident for some reason. So they arguing at the house. And, you know, Ricky and Damon, you know, they just, why you didn't tell me? And he's like, I didn't tell you because you're jealous. And he just didn't want no issues, allegedly. And it's like, we all know. Little Poppy done said Damon gets around. He does. He, he goes from this bed to this bed, this person, any person. And, like, I really want to believe that that Ricky is not the one cheating. But, you know, they go take their HIV test and they get their results. And Ricky says that he has to go to rehearsal. But it's like, well, what, what, what tour are you on now? Who are you working with now where you have to rehearse? And I really want to believe Ricky. I really want to, but, you know, because Damon had this sad face, and he just like, you know, I think we need to uh, break up all this and that. I, need, I think we should uh, take some time apart. But I'm just like, well, I hope he ain't cheating, too, because most of the time, if you're around, if you accuse, not all the time, but sometimes, when you do the accusing, you are the one that's doing the cheating. And, you know, I'm just hoping that that's not the case. But I know that, I don't know. I don't know because I really, I really want to believe that Dame, Ricky is not out here cheating. I think it could be Damon. What would you do all of this time when Ricky was away? You feel like you ain't really doing much. Shit. Sex will take your mind off of not doing much. <laughs> so that's why I'm thinking that it could be Damon that was out here doing this stuff. And now he's feeling guilty because now he's out here accusing Ricky 
and Ricky up there crying. You know, he could be putting on an act. Who do y'all think is cheating in that relationship? Well, maybe they're just growing apart. I don't know. But well, whatever the case may be, Ricky leaves the house. Ricky allegedly has joined the house of Wintour. I'm excited. To, I'm just, I'm so excited to see what's going to happen with that. And can I tell y'all, I loved Anita Baker playing in the background during the last credits of this show. Like, it was just, it just fit in so perfectly with everyone and, you know, and, and their stories, that's what they're doing. And we've seen that Electra has a new place and that company in Lamar is going to be living with her. Um, oh, I didn't get to the scene where, you know, after they fight, and, and you know, Ricky talks about having unprotected sex with Damon, or Damon says it out loud about Rick, him and Ricky. You know, they went on to show, you know, she tried to show them how to properly use a condom on a cucumber. And, you know, it was really good because that's how we learned a lot of those stuff back in the day. But it was good to see that. And then the boys really weren't trying to listen to what she was saying. And Angel had to stop them. And then she told Blanca to go ahead and tell them. And then once she told them, Lil Poppy stole that whole scene. That felt so real watching it. Like he really did the damn thing on that scene. And I'm glad that she has finally told her house children. But I'm worried because now that Ricky is no longer there, what will he do with that information? You never know. Because once the girls find out about people, they talk. They really talk. So I wonder what, what he's going to do with that information that he has about Blanca. But yeah, but just just having Anita Baker giving you the best that I got closed that episode of Pose, it was just so good. It was so good. But I'm going to tell you, I think that Lulu and Candy is going to end up splitting. I think that Electra is going to storm all the balls. Like, she's going to be winning a lot of balls. And I think it's really going to make, it's going to make, um, Blanca go out and look for new people to join her house and build her house up and she's, she's going to step herself up also with the help of Angel. Ricky and Damon probably never get back together and I'm glad to see that Damon's doing something with his life because now he's running the um, a Vogue class at the YMCA so it's just, you know, everybody's got their own thing and um, we really didn't really hear too much about what Angel's doing in there. And we also seen that um, Blanca has decided to take her AZT medicine that she received from the, the patient who passed away. So it's, this episode was really, really good. And I'm just excited for next week's episode. But you know, they were showing in the preview that uh, Electra is coming back to uh, Blanca for some help. What I think really happened is that somebody just died on her watch and she needs help. <laughs> Because that man was taking them, them fucking them, uh, poppers. I don't know if poppers can kill I think they can kill you if you do something wrong with them. But that's not my thing. And I don't know too much about it. But anything, anyway, thank y'all for watching this. You know I'm trying to get back in my review bag. Basketball Wives come back tonight. If it's a good episode, I will talk about it. If it's not, I'll just probably briefly talk about it with Mikhail tomorrow. But thank y'all for watching this video. We put up a new video last night. Make sure you watched it if you didn't. And just look for us tomorrow with the new video. Thank y'all for watching this video, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.